Hi guys, um, in this video I want to clarify one thing which is related to data types in embedded systems. Usually in C programming we have the following data types when we work with integer numbers char and sign char, short and sign short and so on. And all of them have uh, different sizes which in turn means having different value ranges. So when you use short, it has a folding value range, for instance. So you have to be careful when working with data types, when defining variables. Imagine that you define short variable, and if you assign 40,000, it will not work. Because the short has the folding value range, and since 40,000 is out of that range, you will encounter a problem. So in that case, you have to use int or let's say unsigned short. This situation leads to another problem, which is related to portability issue. Imagine you define integer variable, and it has, of course, the folding range in, in standard compilers, which, because it has four bytes. But in some compilers, integer might have only two bytes. So it has only this limited value range. So due to that issue, your program will not work if you compile it with another compiler. In order to address this issue, we have the following library, stdint.h, that crystallizes this, the size of all data types. And we have the following uh, data types defined within this library. So instead of these standard data types, we use only these data types in embedded systems. So instead of char, we have the following um, data type int, 8, underscore, t, and so on. So these are same as standard variables, but, but the difference is that it has a fixed size. So even when you define, you can see that clearly because we have eight, which means eight, eight byte bits, which is one byte, of course. So, so you know exactly how many, how much value range you have when, when you define a variable. For instance, in, instead of short, we have the falling sixteen, which means two bytes. So this is qu quite uh, useful when, because we work on 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 the bit level. And that's why uh, we have the following uh, data types. Don't get uh, confused when you encounter these um, data types. I will I will mention that every time when I when I use these data types. So uh, see you in the next video.